Hi there, I'm back today. This is Sarah Cade with Big Sky Stamping. I'm back to show you a fun card that's easy um, and it features stamping, which is kind of the basic thing we do. So I wanted to share this card. I'll show you how I made that really lovely background. Isn't it peaceful and calm? I just love that color scheme. So let me turn this around and we'll get going. This won't be a long project at all. So here we go. So first thing you probably would like to know is what stamp set I used on this beauty. And it's a new one in the annual catalog called Artistically Inked. Here's the stamp set. Very blotchy looking stamps that look like watercolor. And then there's some fabulous dyes that coordinate with it. This big leafy dye is what I'll be using. And I just wanted, uh, every now and then I get questions about where I get my magnet sheets that I add to my packages of dyes. So I wanted to show you um, where I get them. This is what it looks like. Frost King, it's a three pack and they're vent covers. So they go for your, uh, floor registers and I buy these at um, Home Depot so I'm giving them a little bit of a plug and this is what they look like they're white on one side which is not the white side is not magnetic and this side is and they cut with scissors so you can cut to the shape that you need and that's what I that's where I get my magnet sheets okay back to stampin let me share the color scheme um, it is pool party Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and a recently retired color, Pretty Peacock. I just think these all look really pretty together. They're um, the same kind of greenish blue tones, and that's what I wanted to use. So let's get started. Um, the first, when I'm doing, when I'm making my own background, I like to do the bigger stamps first because I want to be sure and leave room for them. And I am using our shimmer white paper. I don't know if you can see the little bit of sparkle in there, but that's what I'm using. And I'm going to take this big blotchy stamp first and use Pool Party. I'm starting with the lightest color and going to the darkest. So I'm going to get this stamped off and it's okay if you don't have a lot of ink. I think actually this card and this technique works well. So I'm just going to put a couple of these blotches on here. The other thing I like to do is um, I'm going to go like this. See how I stamped off the edge? So I just have a little bit of it and then maybe I'll put a little bit over here. Okay. So that's my pool party part of this card, the lightest one with this big blotchy stamp. Okay, the next one I'm gonna do, I'm going from big to smaller, is the big flower. So let me grab that, this one. And I'm going to go to my next darkest color, which is Coastal Cabana. And I'm only gonna put a little bit of the flower on here because it's so big. I want to save room and you'll notice on my other one I saved white space. I think that really helps to have some white on there. So here's Coastal Cabana. I'm going to put one here just a little bit. See it's a little bit darker than Pool Party and I'll put one now how do I want to do this? I think I will put one, a bit of one there, and a bit of one up here. Okay, and maybe just a tad there. Okay, so I just used a little bit of that side of the stamp. So the next color is Bermuda Bay, and that's this rose stamp. It's a little bigger. So I think I can get most all of one, like right in there. And it's okay if you overlap. I probably should have re-inked this. It's not quite as dark 
as it is on there. A little bit light. I used this for a class, so they were using my ink pad. But you can still see the three shades. Um, I'm going to put a little bit there. Okay, that's that one. And then the final, smallest one is going to be Pretty Peacock. And that's our darkest shade. And I can fill in with that just about anywhere. Oh, did I? You know what? I forgot to use Bermuda Bay. Oh my gosh. That's why it wasn't any good. Okay, so here's what you do when you mess up. You just go over it. Here's the rose again. I'm going to match it. There. Now I've got more of my Bermuda Bay in there. I'm lucky this is so forgiving, isn't, aren't I? Okay, there's my rose. There's my Bermuda Bay. That really confused me. I thought it was dried out, but it was the wrong pad. All right, now I'm going to grab my Pretty Peacock. This is my darkest one, and this is the smallest stamp. So you can just kind of put dabs of it anywhere you want to. And um, I think it looks good, you know, just about anywhere. But again, I'm trying to leave some white. Let's see, maybe a little bit there, maybe a little bit over here. Just to kind of balance it out a little, a little bit down there. Okay, so there's my stamped background. And then here's the leafy die that I cut out. I cut it out with the shimmer white paper. And then this is gonna get glued. I would use multi-purpose glue. You can use what you want, but I like this for thin stuff. You can just put dots everywhere and put it on the card. And then um, this card's fun. Since I have four shades, you can go back to your ribbon stash and look at any current or retired ribbon in these four colors and grab some of that. I just did a simple knot and attached it with a glue dot. And then I did the Best Wishes stamp set, which comes with this stamp set. And the reason I did that is I felt like this could be good for a birthday card, a wedding card, or an anniversary card, or just any reason that you'd want to give Extend Best Wishes to somebody. So anyway, that's how I stamp that background. And um, you can get this by going to BigSkyStamping.com. You can click on shop and do a search for this stamp set or the bundle that comes with the dies. And you can also see all the other fabulous products we have. So thanks for taking a look today.